coming up. Only one more competition into the Summer Dance Slam Championship, and this team has got to keep this winning streak going. This week, we're going to the Buck Wars competition in New Orleans, Louisiana. There are a lot of teams that are at this event. They don't know how we do it in Compton. It ain't Hollywood. It's Hollywood up in here. Y'all feel me? Yeah! It's a huge, huge deal for me and your dad and your grandma. Kayla and Sanjay are graduating. This is what it was all about in the first place. Every tear I have dropped was all for this moment. The last time that we competed against the Dancing Dolls, we did not come out victorious. But this time, I don't plan on that happening. This is the rematch. I'm excited to see what y'all gonna do. One, two, three, four, five. Whip it, whip it. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. One, two, three, four. Any questions? OK, everybody have a seat real quick. OK, you guys, this week we are going to the Buck Wars dance competition at Xavier University in New Orleans, Louisiana. The Summer Slam is only one week away, and I'm pushing my team as hard as I can to make it through this last leg so the girls had better buckle down because it's on. We have a really, really big competition in New Orleans, Louisiana. The rivals for the week will be Divine Dancers from Baton Rouge, the Blazing Cheetahs from Louisiana, D3 Elite from Houston, Texas, Diamond Divas of Compton from Los Angeles, California, Ooh. also two from Dallas, Texas, Explosive. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Some of our biggest rivals are the Explosive Dance Company from Dallas, Texas, Explosive Dance Company's coach. She comes across as a little bit of a smart aleck. You're right, sweetheart. Bigger things come out of Texas. Bigger mouths come out of Texas. The last time we battled the Explosive Dance Company, they made this big wave about them being from Dallas, Texas, with the cowboy hats and the Texas flags and the saddle. <laughs> We're going to see Explosive Dance Company at the Summer Dance Slam Championship. So we know coming down to New Orleans, Louisiana, Explosive Dance Company is going to want to beat us. Explosive is known for their creative dances. That's what they do. They're more of a contemporary dance company. They're not a majorette team. During this hip buck war, not only do we have the dancing dogs, but we got Explosive. Boo! Boo! Yeah. 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 They got Explosive yeah. again. So we're going up against Explosive this week. Every time you look around, they're talking about some boom. Honey, you need to have that boom on the floor because Diana, the Dolls, or the DDPs, we don't play. Our creative dance for the week, we're going to do an African-themed majorette routine. And every team competing will have their own theme. African dance is up-tempo, it's fast-paced, it's energetic, and it's really, really, really outside the box. It's different. It's gonna be a big challenge for them because they're not used to this fast-paced routine. I think it's gonna be a good mix of everything. It's gonna be interesting and fun to really, really watch and see you guys bring the African tribal dance to life. African dance. Yeah. Wah, 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 wah. Then, you know, on top of the African dance, our babies are graduating. Here we go. It is coming to a bittersweet end. You know what? This is time we need to just come together, invite y'all over to JJ House. We can all just take pictures and just see the girls, they cap and gowns on. Sanjay and Kayla are great friends. Yes. So, yes, I will go. But it's going to be kind of hard. I know. They got practice. Yes. This is a hard dance. Is is a competition, and yeah, they got graduation. graduation. That's a lot. I know Kayla is going to graduate. I know I cannot stop it, but I know for sure I am not ready. It's a lot of pressure, but they can handle it. We can't. No, They've been handling. Y'all can't handle. It. I know I can't. can't. That's what I'm saying. Y'all can't handle. It. Tomorrow we'll be choosing a captain for the stand battle. At this point in the season, I know for a fact that it's going to either be Christiana, Michaela, or Cameron that's going to be the new captain for the team. All three of these girls are equal. Each one of them has led to stand battles. Where we are right now, one of these girls is going to get an extra one over the other girls. So instead of having the girls compete against each other, now it's time to see what the odds are going to be this week and whose favor the odds are going to fall in. So instead of utilizing the system that we've been using and have you guys face off, we're not going to do that this time. We're going to pull names. 
out of this box. That'll be the person that'll leave for the week. Just give it to me, Miss Diana. That's dumb. Do what now? Diana says she's gonna see who can handle the captain's position this week by randomly pulling out of a box. Why don't I just randomly pull out the next president? No. Why don't I just randomly pull out my next job? Oh, geez, what am I doing this week? Let me randomly guess and figure it out. Next week, a captain will be determined. We are exactly one week away from the Summer Dance Slam Championship. That week, we're gonna name the new captain of the team. It's either gonna be Michaela, Cameron, or Christiana. I feel like all three of these girls have equally done an amazing job this season, and they're all tied up for who could potentially be the new captain of the team. Also this weekend, Kayla and Sanjay are graduating. Congratulations. You are now a high school graduate. Congratulations. Oh. And we also have other seniors on the team. Kia, Dominique, Brandy, Tatiana, Shayla. We have a lot of different people that are graduating. This week, the girls are graduating from high school, and I'm really excited for all of the girls on my team that are graduating seniors. Kayla is graduating, and she's been with me since the fifth grade. And she's now my assistant coach. And Sanjay, she's also graduating and moving on. It's bittersweet because I'm excited for them to go, but then we don't want them to go. All right, come on, y'all, let's go. Get on your side. Let's walk through it a couple times, and let's get it. I am Sharkeetha, and I am the coach of Explosive Dance Company. The last time that we competed against the Dancing Dolls, we did not come out victorious. But this time, I don't plan on that happening because we will take home the first place trophy. Diana and those dolls are what? Focus. Focus. She likes to win just like I like to win. The last competition, the judges said that we needed to be more in sync and that we needed to work on our stamina. Get on up. Get on up. This go around, I had the girls working harder, making sure that their lines were more on point, and that the movement was very precise and clean. Four, five, six. This time, we're going to make sure that we're going to get back at those dancing dolls. We are who? Explosive! Explosive! Think about African dance. African dance is all about the music, the energy, the pride, the passion, y'all have to bring that to it. When you come up, you should charge the floor. Those chassés, the line is going to spread out. Does everybody understand? Five, six, seven chassé, and push, and push around. It's important for the girls to walk out on the dance floor with energy. African dance is up-tempo. It's fast-paced. It's energetic. This week, we're going to have to make sure that the creativity is there, the energy level is there, personality, attitude, all of it's going to have to be there, pretty much what they're supposed to do every week anyway. Heads down. It's, it's full out. Heads down. So this week is a really, really big week because not only are we having this creative dance routine, but I graduate this week. And I'm gonna have a lot of stuff on my mind. So it's like I'm focused on graduation, but I'm also have to have my head wrapped around the competition. Some girls gonna die. <laughs> the weak links cannot be out there on the African dance. I'm no, ma'am. I'm saying it right now. Because if you get tired and you get winded, you might as well cut yourself now. The problem with the African style, the girls, if you have asthma, you better pump several times. And if you don't have asthma, bring a pump anyway, because you're not going to be able to breathe. But y'all know we're a week away from the summer slam. After New Orleans, the summer slam, right? Tell y'all know. Them. I've been waiting on this a long time. Oh, she smoking. said at the end of the season, she was going to reveal the captain. And yes. SummerSlam is the end of the mm -hmm. season. But you know, it's our baby's last, last one. Yes, last one. And you know, we lost the Battle Royale. You know, we need to come out with a win. Last season, we lost the last Battle Royale. I don't want to lose the Summer Dance Slam Championship also. We got to get prepared for the Summer Slam. And yes. you got Neva, and you got all these other folks. In Tiger Reds. Tiger Reds. Yeah. Explosions and all them folks. It's like going to be crazy. Yeah, crazy isn't the word. You ain't gonna be able to dance like that. 
these inconsistencies is killing me. Arms everywhere. Wow. Get consistent. You're going to get probably 30 seconds of breath. Y'all got to get up and kill your energy. Because the Summer Dance Slam has some of the best teams from our whole competition season, we have to make sure that we're ready. And right now, we have a lot of work to do. Coming up. I'm surrounded by my friends, my family, people that care about me. I felt so loved. No, oh, Jalen Bell. She fell. Yeah. We're competing in two categories this week, creative dance and also the stand battle category. The last time we battled the Explosive Dance Company, they made this big wave about them being from Dallas, Texas, with the cowboy hats and the Texas flags and the saddle. So we made up a stand called Giddy Up, and we're gonna utilize this stand specifically against the Explosive Dance Company. Get consistent. Arms everywhere. Wow. Even though the thing's heavy, we push like a 7-7 seven, seven Chevy boy. Don't give them nothing. Don't give these teams nothing. What's on the bottom now? We running this. Y'all look tired already. You ain't gonna be able to dance like that. These inconsistencies is killing me. Get consistent. Babe, let me tell you. I just hope Diana got some tricks up her sleeves. Anything to get ready for this explosive. And especially D3 Elite. First stand battle. It's a little bit of a twist. Cameron, Christiana, and Michaela, you guys are even when it comes to stand battle. You've led two, you've led two, you've led two. Next week, a permanent captain will be determined. Having the girls battle against each other every single week has been interesting. It has given the girls not only a competitive spirit, but it's helped challenge them every week to see what they're gonna be able to do when they hit the dance floor. Each one of them has led to stand battles. So instead of having the girls compete against each other, now it's time to see what the odds are gonna be this week and whose favor the odds are gonna fall in. The moms are gonna be mad, but at the end of the day, I don't care. Each one of your names are in this box. Whose ever name comes out, that'll be the person that'll lead for the week. That's dumb. Do what now? Whose name come out first? Diana feels like the captain can be just pulled out of a box today. Whatever. Whatever happens, let it happen. Michaela! I really wanted to battle this week. I was confident that I was going to be able to go against them and lead this team again. Michaela. So, Michaela, you're leading for the week. As we get closer to the Summer Dance Slam Championship, this is just another opportunity for Michaela to showcase what she's got and prove that she could be the team captain. How you guys are? I want this win really, really bad. If we lose, I don't know, I'm going to lose my mind. OK. We're trying to think of a cute, tasteful way to twist up one of the things but kind of get back at explosive. Take the fight stand and change it up. I think it's gonna be a good screw you. A really good one. With Explosive coming out with this saddle and all of this Texas gear and all this stuff with Giddy Up Cowboy, I feel like it's gonna be a really, really good stand against the Explosive Dance Company. When y'all run, make noise! stand is just for explosive. I have fun doing those stands that are directed right to the other team because it's like it's like we're getting back at you with your own stuff.
Is it iron and silver or you have to iron? Uh, all of the black, red, and white. Red. Graduation day is finally here. Kayla and Sanjay are together, putting on their robes, and I'm really enjoying the fact that the girls can be together. We all can cry and have a great time. <sighs> we need a cap and gown. All the stuff we done went through with. You know what? I wouldn't be surprised if you show up to graduation in a cap I and know, gown. You know, you like, like to, seriously. You like to be so supportive. I'm trying to play it cool with the whole high school graduate thing. I'm not trying to just let this overwhelm me, and I'm not going to make this about me. I'm going to really celebrate her new beginning. We're coming. happy that I get to share this moment with Kayla because we have to work really hard and I feel like this is a very proud moment for everybody. <laughs> this is what it was all about in the first place. Everything I have ever done, not done, every tear I have dropped was all for this moment. I'm so proud of you, Kayla. I am so proud of you and I'm so happy for you. I'm surrounded by my friends, my family, people that care about me. I felt so loved in the situation. It was just so amazing. It's a huge, huge deal for me and your dad and your grandma. I just want to say I love all y'all. I think we should all go outside and take pictures. Sounds like a good idea. Oh, good. Yes, come out. When Sanjay was coming up, she was always independent. And that's what I like about her. She has been a leader from the dough. She's never been a follower. I don't have to worry about it because it's how you raise a child at the beginning. If you start off right with them, they're going to grow up right, and they're going to end right. Who is it? That's your daddy. Oh, shut the is it mine? OMG. Uh-huh, I'm posting up. What are you up to, JJ? Is it mine? Coming up. We didn't come to the N.O. to lose. This week, we have a lot of teams we're going up against. They don't know how we doing in Compton. It ain't Hollywood. It's Hollywood up in here. Y'all feel me? Yeah! So let's take pictures. Just knowing that my daughter is graduating today and she will be going off to college soon, it's really hard to believe. It's time for me to let go. Who is it? That's your daddy. Oh, shut the is it mine? Uh-huh, I'm posting up. Hey. It's mine! Oh, oh, I guess that's your pretty bitch. Oh, oh. Oh. Yeah. You want me to get out? Oh, my gosh, yes. You do? It's so pretty. I see JJ cruising in a drop top. Like, OK, did he get a new car? He got Sanjay a new car, the car she wanted. Sanjay deserves this car. This girl has been through so much from being a dancing doll and then trying to keep her grades up and graduating today. I'm so extremely proud of her. She deserved this car plus some. There you go. <laughs> mm -hmm. Congratulations. Yay! Thank you for picturing it. Thank you so much, Daddy. You're welcome, Daddy, baby. Work hard, dad will make sure you play hard. Everything's going my way. Everything, everything's going. Everything, everything's going my way. Everything, everything's going. Everything's going my way. My little gift card ain't nothing compared to the infant. going to the Buck Wars competition in New Orleans, Louisiana. This week is a really, really big competition. There are a lot of teams that are at this event. Woo! The rivals for the week are D3 Elite, Diamond Divas of Compton, and our biggest rivals are the Explosive Dance Company from Dallas, Texas. The Summer Slam is only one week away, and Explosive is going to be one of the teams to beat. We're competing in two categories this week, creative dance and also the stand battle category. New Orleans, meet Mississippi. It's time for a battle. We are in New Orleans, Louisiana. Explosive is going to be coming for y'all. Last time y'all saw them, what they had? They riding each other like horses and carrying on. So we don't know what they going to do. Seniors, 
It's almost over with, so let's enjoy each other. Let's have a good time. Let's do what we always do. This is my last year on the Dancing Dolls, and I'm done with schooling in high school. You know, I worked my way up to this point, and I'm just happy to be able to battle with my girls. Right before the Summer Dance Slam Championship. Deep, deep, both air. Deep, deep, both air. We drove all the way from Texas to New Orleans, Louisiana, to claim this win today, right? We know. We didn't come to the N.O. to lose. Are y'all with me? The Dancing Dolls beat us the last time. And so this particular time, I told the girls, we need to be more focused and have our head on straight because we cannot come home with a second or third place trophy. Who are we? It's Let's go win. Yeah. This week, we have a lot of teams we're going up against. I already know their fans are going to be crunk because every time you look around, they're talking about some boom. Honey, you need to have that boom on the floor because the dolls are gonna be ready. I know you're gunning for us, but we're gunning for you also. Diamond Divas rapping teams that are really, really, really good that can go up against each other. It brings a lot of energy. It puts everybody on their toes. So, Jesus, just let this work out. I don't really doubt Michaela. I have a few things that I feel like she can do better. I worry, is Michaela swag and person that's gonna be able to hold up? This is your third week leading, right? Mm -hmm. Last time we battled exposed to Christianity, I feel like you have a lot of personality when you leave. But I know the girl from Explosive, she has a, like a very jumpy type leadership. Say I got a good personality and energy and all that, so I'm not threatened by her or nothing, so. Okay. I do think that I can take after Kayla and I have a lot of swag. I really want to show Ms. Diana that I'm the captain that she's looking for. You'll figure it out eventually. Let's just go ahead and come back in here and get dressed. Okay. Coach. Just personality and leadership, that's all. That's all you're gonna need to carry you through the life. We're on a mission. Last time, we were robbed. This time, we want to go home with the what? Yeah. This is very important. I'm nervous, but at the same time, I'm excited. Make sure your mind is focused. Let's win. Don't disappoint me. You know how I feel about losing. Second place is not winning. Listen up, ladies. So we go last. So that means... You guys need to make sure that you leave a lasting impression on the judges. All I see is feathers, 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 and more feathers. I'm just hoping that when they hit the floor, they're able to control those headpieces. Nobody's headpiece comes off, nobody's headpiece covers their face, and everybody can get out there and do what they need to do. So y'all give them a reason to smile. Facial expressions, personality, the whole nine yards when y'all hit that floor. Coming up. Girls flying, falling. No, no, Jayla Bell. We can lose this one. We're getting ready to go into the creative dance, and there's a huge crowd outside. It's hot, and I know the girls are really ready to get started so we can get out here on the floor and do what it is that we came to New Orleans to do. All right, heads bowed, eyes closed. Lord, we thank you for the opportunity to be here today. Without you, we would be nothing. I thank you for all the unique talents and gifts you continue to give these girls as I learn more about them each and every day. Lord, we have seniors on our team, and Lord, we are in our last days with these girls, and we thank you for the opportunity that you have given us to be able to dance with them and to praise with them. Lord, I thank you for the highest kicks that you give these girls, the biggest smiles and the biggest attitudes that each one of these girls possess. It's these things we ask for in your son Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Amen. Ladies and gentlemen of New Orleans, Louisiana, we welcome you to the Buck Rose Dance Competition. From Los Angeles, California, the Diamond Divas of Compton. Diamond 
Jacobs of Compton extremely, extremely entertaining. I see that Los Angeles didn't come down here to play, and I'm glad, because I wouldn't have driven 25 hours to get down here and do nothing. Ooh, he's gonna get you. I felt like a Chevy was finna come out and Ice Cube was finna be low riding in it and I'm finna be like, I'm with them, let's roll, you know the... From Dallas, Texas, explosive dance company! Diana, today, hmm, your number is up. Oh my God, I mean, Explosive went all out. They have lions, they have muscle men, they have ringleaders, they have cheerleaders. I don't know what they didn't have, so I'm expecting them to be ready for the Summer Slam. Explosive Dance Company comes out with this really huge circus-themed routine. I thought that it was really, really unique and very different. Texas, D3 Elite. D3 Elite is here to win today like we do every single time we walk into a competition. So today, we're taking the dancing dolls down. really, really wrote that theme category, just like Explosive. They were great in their costumes, their creativity was there. I really enjoyed their show. And I'm kind of like praying at this time that this African thing gets pulled off. I noticed that the girls that are in the very first group shoot out like a bolt of lightning with energy. As soon as the second group comes out, I get very nervous because this is the group that we've had issues with during our practice session. and they did not do as well. We had girls flying, falling, people not doing routines right, and I'm just like, this is not what we needed. After watching Explosive Routine, there is no way that we can come out here and do that. This is not setting the bar that we need to set. nervous because I can't say this is Dancing Doll best creative dance. We saw a lot of mistakes on the floor that we usually don't see. And I think that kind of hurt us. So as we sit in the stands, we just like, we can lose this one. nervous. That theme category might have killed us. D3 Elite, Explosive brought it off. This can be very, very tragic for the Dance and Dolls. Yeah. Oh, this will be yeah. the most wide wake-up call you have ever Thank seen you. in your life. You. Yes. Y'all didn't do what y'all was supposed to do at all. Denisha, you made mistakes. Uh, Melissa, you made mistakes. You were standing straight up at one point. Brandy, you messed up at the end. As you perform, it's supposed to get better. It's not supposed to get worse. So I don't, to be honest, I don't know what the judges are gonna think. You might not win today. I 
coming up. This is the rematch, the explosive dance company from Dallas, Texas. Oh, that's that too. did not go well. And knowing that we're trying to get to the SummerSlam Championship and go into it with confidence, we need to win the sand battle. Well, hi, Diana. Hello. You guys did a really good job today. Appreciate that. So did you guys. I run into the Explosive Dance Company's coach. The last time we met, she was talking about bigger things come out of Texas, and how her team was going to sweep us off the floor, and they were going to beat us. It didn't happen the last time. So I'm curious as to what she's going to say this time. Well, it looks like we could potentially be seeing each other on the floor. And that's very cool. Remember, bigger things come out of Texas. Don't forget. Mm -hmm. Rodeo. Bigger things come out of Mississippi, too. We can pull out bigger wins. Bye, girl. Bye. See you later. Hopefully it's a bigger win, not a bigger loss like last it's time. It's OK. We'll see you. We will. So we're about to compete against the dancing dolls in the stand battle. No doubt in my mind that this is going to be an unfortunate competition for the dolls to be eliminated in the first round. Strategy is what counts. They know you came out here to beat them. Come on, let's go. Y'all going to have to bring the energy, because D3 Elite wants to beat y'all bad. The first time Michaela led the stand battle, the girls did not do a great job. Michaela performed well. The team just didn't back her up that week. I feel like that loss really took a big shot at Michaela's confidence. And I'm hoping that going into the stand battle this week, that confidence comes back up to where it needs to be. Ladies and gentlemen, it's now time for our next round of our stand battle from Houston, Texas. trying to win at the end of the day. I'm leaving the team. It's going to be bittersweet because this team, ever since the fifth grade, has built me into the person I am today. And my goal is to kill it, leave it all out on the floor, and to go home with that trophy today. See that light over there? Yeah. Just blazing right over there. That's me, that's mine over there. Michaela, she came to play. The ball is in her court. She has the attitude, she has the sass, and she has the spice. intimidated by the dolls at all. I have zero reason to be intimidated by, by the dolls. If anything, they might want to be intimidated by us. And we most certain that we are coming home with the first place shopping. Yeah. D3 is looking really good. They have a lot of great stands, but that's OK. So have the dance dolls. clean before one of our stands, and she takes a really, really long time to complete it. And I'm trying to figure out, what is she doing? Is she taunting the other team, or did she just forget? Sometimes the judges take off points because they feel like, oh, that's a mistake. Hopefully, it's Michaela that doesn't cost us any points. did a really good job. But I noticed the judges towards the end are doing a lot of talking. And they seem almost very, very hard to impress. <laughs>
Paris and I were nervous, but yet we made it. Now it's time for the real show. It's gonna be dancing dolls and explosive. We got to go home with the trophy. Good job, y'all. Good job. Michaela, did you forget what to do? Yeah! Cause I'm like, what's he doing? Backstage, Michaela does confess that she forgot what stand to throw. She had a brain fart. And I'm like, what the hell was you out there thinking? Because if she had forgot, baby, that would have messed that up. But at the end of the day, the good captain, if they make a mistake, how quick do they recover? Michaela falls right into that. Oh, this is it. Last round. It is now time for the finals of our stand battle, featuring the Explosive Dance Company. This is the rematch. That's the final battle of the evening, the championship round, the Dancing Dolls versus the Explosive Dance Company from Dallas, Texas. SummerSlam is only one week away, and Explosive is gonna be one of the teams to beat. I'm excited to see what y'all gonna do. Dance Company in this final round. They got more attitude and energy that I have seen all night long. I'm like, well, 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 finally. I was really worried this week with Kayla and Sanjay graduating that they would not get the routine down, but they're the ones that's bucking the hardest out there on the floor. Graduation did not stop them from kicking ass in this competition. I can tell that they're really putting it all out there as their time here on the Dolls is coming to an end. Yeah, boy, call on God. Most these haters talk silly, really wearing bras. Forget you and your whole squad. If you gon' blast, never pause. Give me drums and make them hard. Yeah, we on top. I'm watching an explosive throw their stands, and they did something with the ninja stand, and they were using their legs to kick at each other and do all this, and I'm like, hell, I felt like they was kicking me. That, 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 that vernacular. And when we see you in the streets, we're at Watching the girls perform that stand for Explosive, it was off the chain. They had these little bitty little horses, and they was riding them on down to the battle line, and it was funny as hell. It was nothing about that stand that I would change. Now they don't want it with us. I know they talk to laugh, but they don't want it with us. Do we not give y'all the ghost with every line? Ain't Russell Crowe when they I just got... started whooping them with the whole yeah, yeah, yeah. And I'm like, ooh, ooh, felt that too. But they don't want it with us. See if you believe that it's our time. It's our time. But they don't want it with us. The San Rodeo comes from Texas. If you're not a Texas girl, you don't know how to do a Texas rodeo just like us. Now, in the stand battle, I feel like the Dancing Dolls did a great job, but I also feel like Explosive did good. It could go either way. Our first category. I think the me and the moms are nervous because I can't say this is Dancing Doll best creative dance. We saw a lot of mistakes on the floor that we usually don't see. So as we sitting in the stands, we just like, we can lose this one. And the team coming in first place is... DD for help! I'm shocked. I take it all back. I'm trying to pick up every word off the floor and put it back in my mouth, because I was totally wrong. I take it all back. And now for the results of our stand battle. And the team coming in first place in stand battle. This final category is stand battle. Like Ms. Diana say, let me bite my ass cheeks and squeeze them tight because 
please let it be the dancing dogs. From Jackson, Mississippi, the dancing dogs. Yes, we won this week when I'm living stand battle. I'm so happy. Michaela killed it this week. I might have a few doubts about her, but she shut me up on that. I am so proud of her. She let me know that she's just as good as Cammie and Christiane on this one. I'm excited yet again for Michaela, and I am excited again for the team. I know there was a lot of stuff going on with graduation, but the girls did a really good job. The dancing dolls come out on top with a first place win in the stand battle category. Overall, I thought today was a really, 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 really great day. Y'all walked away with a first place win. Amazing. Really, really good day. Yes. So, we are one week, one week away from SummerSlam. Not only is the Summer Dance Slam Championship important, it's important because that week, we're gonna name the new captain of the team. It's either gonna be Michaela, Cameron, or Christiana. I feel like all three of these girls have equally done an amazing job this season, and it's gonna be interesting to see exactly who is gonna walk away with the captain position. Yeah. 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 Yeah.